Did you know that you can edit the interior in Book Vault? If you're interested in finding out how to do it and it's very beginner friendly, make sure you guys keep watching. Okay guys, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna sign into our Book Vault account. I'm already signed in and then we're gonna go over to Book Vault. You usually will just go to Create, then it'll take you to Book Vault Studio. And then we're going to start a new project and we're gonna keep it as a paper, uh, the project type as paperback cover interior. Project name, we'll just put journal. We'll keep it at the trim size. Obviously you would change it to what you wanna change it to. We'll keep it at black and white interior with white paper. We're gonna keep it on bleed and 24 pages or 24 page count. Then we are going to go to page one. We're gonna to go to the page templates where for your interiors. We're gonna go over there and we're going to pick something. So depending on whatever your, your um, book that you're gonna create is, um, say you wanna do what to do, um, whatever it is, we'll just pick this monthly to do list. So we're gonna pick this one here. And if you want, you can just, well, we wanna do that all to all, we'll select all. We're gonna remove the cover and then we will say next. We'll keep all of this the same. And then here we have it. We have our monthly to do page. Okay. So whatever you want to change this to, you can change it. You want to, if you don't want it to say monthly to do, you can have it say something else, but how you would change it is first, we're going to lock this interior. Okay. So I'm going to lock this interior so you can go here. You make sure you click on the interior. We're going to lock it so it cannot move. Okay. Next, we're going to go over to here for our shapes and we're going to pick rectangle. And we're gonna move this over to here. And we're gonna cover up this, but we're gonna change the color of it first of all. Make sure that it's all covered and we're gonna change this to white, okay? Then we're gonna go over here to the right-hand side where it says month, the rectangle and we're gonna lock the rectangle so it cannot move, okay? So now it's not gonna move. So now you can type whatever you want in here. We're gonna go over to here where the text is pick whatever text you want and we can move it right up here and you can change this to whatever you want it to say it said monthly to-do list whatever you want to change it to um um 20 if you wanted to say whatever if you want to make it a 2023 or whatever this is just an example you can change to whatever 2023 to do list. This is just an example. You guys will make it what you want to make it. And then we'll say, there it is. And it is there. If you want to lock it, you can go ahead and lock it too. And it's locked. Now it will not move. It will not move at all. You cannot move it. You can do whatever you can do the same to these. It's just the exact same process. You would go over to them and lock everything up. This is already locked. So none of this is going to move. Whatever was behind it is not going to move. So you want to make sure that you are doing this to all of your pages. So you will go ahead and click on all your pages. You will go ahead and right click and you will go clone this page. And then you will pick the pages that you wanted to do it to. So you want to do select all, un uncheck your cover, and then you will clone it. And then you do OK. And it should do this to all of your pages. All of your pages will be changed to this. I also like to, once I do stuff like that too, I also like to say save just to be on the safe side, but it usually auto saves, but I usually like to just save it on my own. But you guys can see when you guys go to page two, it is changed. Go to page three, it is changed. So it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. Whatever you guys want to change on it, you guys can go ahead and change the text and things like that within your interior. And that is pretty much it, you guys. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. And if you guys want to learn how to do anything else, make sure you guys leave it down in the description down below and I will do that for you. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.